It's a scene from a new movie based on a book that's become a sensation, Where the Crawdads Sing, by author Delia Owens. Lee Cowan talks with Owens and the Hollywood heavyweight who's bringing her story to the big screen, producer Reese Witherspoon. You Oops. love these things, don't you? I do, <laughs> especially when they start. You might think becoming one of the world's best-selling novelists would change a person. My property manager wants to cut these, and I'm like, don't you dare. No, I think it's great. I love it. <laughs> Makes me feel like I'm in the bush. But not Delia Owens. Whether it's driving her ATV through the brush. Oh, it does feel good. Um, oh. Or wading into a river. Oh. Oh, I see a little minnow. At 73, she's the same rugged Southern belle that she always was. Before her blockbuster novel, Where the Crawdads Sing, made her a literary phenom. Do you still kind of pinch yourself that this is all oh, happening? Oh, every day. I still don't believe it's happening. Yeah. What are you doing here? <laughs> Why are you You invited us. <laughs> I mean, see me on Sunday morning in my living room. I mean, no, I still, I don't believe any of it. To this day, even Putnam, her publisher, can't really believe it. Because Crawdads has broken all kinds of records. It just spent its 166th week on the New York Times bestseller list. Hello? Hey, Crawdads is back at number one. <laughs> It holds the record for being number one for the most weeks. And this was your very first novel. First novel. <laughs> it's a journey that's attracted all kinds of famous fireflies to Delia's flame, not the least of whom is Academy Award winner Reese Witherspoon. Haven't 11 million people read this book around <gasps> the world? Or is it 12? <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's even better. <laughs> It was Witherspoon who plucked Delia out of relative obscurity back in 2018, enthusiastically adding Where the Crawdads Sing to her Hello Sunshine book club. It just blew me away. It felt like when I was reading To Kill a Mockingbird or just any sort of classic Southern literature. So when I got to meet Delia, I was like, <laughs> who are you? This is amazing. So you have to come to my horse farm. Witherspoon is from Tennessee. Owens is a native of Georgia. I'm so glad you're here. Two tomboys from the South well, who bonded almost I immediately. I grew up with women like Delia, and I sat around tables with women telling their stories, and I knew and women drinking, out. Drinking whiskey out of a teacup. Yeah. <laughs> drinking whiskey. <laughs> Sometimes in a teacup. Whiskey in a teacup. <laughs> Sometimes in a mason jar. A Hollywood uh, star and a best-selling author. You can probably see where this is heading. I have, like you, heard the tall tales told about the Marsh Girl. Where the Crawdads Sing, out this week, is now one of the most anticipated movies of the summer. You can't live alone in the marsh forever. Watch me. Shot along the coast of Louisiana, the film follows Owens' main character, Kaya, a young girl left to raise herself in the marshes of North Carolina. I've been out in the marsh plenty of times with Jody, but never alone. And then she layers on this thriller element. There's a murder. There's no fingerprints on the railing. Great stuff. The marsh girl. She killed him. I would have. I would have loved to have been Kaya. <laughs> <laughs> you would have been a great Kaya. <laughs> I'm a little too old, but that's part of what I loved about it. Is like that's the kind of movies I want to make. I want to be like I want to be that character. I know what to do. <laughs> Witherspoon had her hands full just producing the movie. So, up-and-coming British actress Daisy Edgar Jones was cast in the role of Kaya. If you can capture the tone or the essence or the feeling that you have when you read a book, that's the main thing, really. You want me to beg for my life? I don't have it in me. I won't. I will not offer myself up. They can make their decision. It took Owens more than a decade to write Crawdads, all in her Idaho mountain retreat. That's where we first met her, back in 2019. Do you get lonely out here? <laughs> I, I do. I like get so lonely sometimes I feel like I can't breathe. As a wildlife scientist, she spent years in some of the most remote parts of Africa. Being alone nourishes her, in the same way that the nature around her does, especially 
in a marsh. I feel at home when I'm in a place like this. Yeah. You can put me in the middle of a desert or in the middle of mountains. When I'm out away from everything else, I feel like I'm home. Her novel was born out of those same feelings, a true labor of love, she says, that's reflected in the film. They invited me to come to the set. They took me through the woods. We rounded this bend through the forest, and there's this Kaya shack on this lagoon, and it looks exactly like I wrote it in the book. There's Kaya Shack. Mom! Then they start talking, and my words come out. Am I your girlfriend now? Do you want to be? I know feathers. The other girls don't know feathers. All right, then. <laughs> it was the most surreal. It was part real, part invented or created. And yet, it, it, that's what a movie does. You know, it was just bringing all these elements together. It was beautiful. That said, she was always anxious to get back to the things she knew. It has great molars there for chewing. Bugs and critters, all under a gentle canopy of trees. This is where Kaya would have been. This is what Kaya loved, being out in the wild, in the forest, in the among nature. Since our last visit, she traded the wintry woods of Idaho. Look at this, wow, look at that. For this, the rolling hills of North Carolina. Have deer, a lot of groundhogs, turkeys. And we have bears. There's a bear along the river who has three little cubs. Really? Yes. It's an old historic horse farm. Should have three or four. Delia plans to have a few herself, to yeah. ride off and get lost in it all, where Bears or no bears, <laughs> she does her best work. Do you write out here? I, well, I didn't bring you today, but I always bring a little uh, pad and a, a paper and a pen because yes, how can you not write out here? I'm fairly sure that pavement, tarmac, hardens the heart and softens the brain. <laughs> if that sounds like she's writing her next book, well, she is. The pink ones are the 1800s. She's on her third draft. Is it harder, though? Does it's it harder like you're... because I feel the pressure and the expectations are high. I don't want to let anybody down, and I don't know how, what are the chances of doing this again. <laughs> if you pose that question to Reese Witherspoon, however, she thinks Delia's chances are pretty good. I'm glad I only have to do this once. <laughs> Now, don't say that. You don't know. I'm completely yep. worn out. And I'm excited she's writing another book. We're going to talk in a minute. Oh. Not bad for a naturalist who never really looked for the spotlight. She'd settle for the warm glow of a campfire just about any day. And she thinks most of the rest of us probably would, too. All the numbers, all the weeks on the, on the bestseller list, I get excited. You see me get excited. It is exciting. But that, to me, is not the most important part. To me, the most important part is to re write a story that means something. That connects. That connects us all together. I feel very, there are a lot of crawdads out there. <laughs>